So the part you see here is what I need to make the waste unit for the Justin. And first up, we'll take this part here, and this very small little part here, which I have to be very careful not to lose, because this one makes up the... Oops. Oops. No, oh, it's raining outside. Uh, so this one makes up the part for the yellow uh, beef and trim. It goes like that. I haven't done a build video while, while it's raining outside. So we'll take this part here, and then we'll go around like so. So it looks like that. Then we'll take, let's move this down here, here. We'll need this part that goes here. I think now, I gotta take this out because I gotta put this one first. Like that. And then put this in like this. There we go. Ah, some of the paint chipped in front of it. It's gonna be interesting trying to paint this or touch it up while it's already pre-assembled. Alright, so the next one is the front skirts which will require this part here this part here and then this one that goes over this where's the other skirt? ah, oh, there it is and then this one that goes over here There we go. So it looks like that. Then we reverse this. Actually, no, we got uh, this part. No, we already have that there. Pre-assemble these. So that's done. Let me put this one here. And this one here. Okay. That's actually good, kind of cool. That's well done there. Uh, let's just finish this one, the um, grenade. So I have this one here. Go like that. Oh. First, uh, who's calling me? Oh. Okay. We have <clears throat> 
It's pretty simple, the grenade setup. I was actually air, um, airbrushing this, these two parts together with the um, with this already hooked up, but then I realized that that wouldn't be the, a wise idea because this thing moves on, moves a lot. And even though I'm not going to open it and close it all the time, so it'd be a lot easier this way. There we go. There you have it. The waste unit of the Jesta is complete. This part goes over here, which I, as you can see, I did the trim part on this. So it will look like something like that once I put the waste unit on. That's kind of cool. That came out. That came out pretty nice. Okay, let's move on to the next part. So now we're gonna finish up this uh, kit with the remaining parts that you see here. The shield and the uh, backpack. First we'll begin with the backpack, which has already been done as you can see with the detail that I've uh, painted on the thrusters which came out pretty good. Um, and we take this plastic part here put it in here like that followed by these two little blue trim parts one goes here one goes here. Now clearly these are the ones that are going to be removed later on so I can hook up the shield and if ever of course Bandai decide to make the, just a cannon master grade it's pretty much, the, this will probably be the same thing, the only difference is you're going to be removing you know, both of these will be removed and you'll have the two cannon parts on it. So with that being put on like that you slide this part in here like so So it looks like that, and then a little dust off right there, and there's little grooves here that you have to slide them in, I think it's right there, oh, I think you have to slide them in, let me just remove these, let me slide them in after this. Last thing I'm going to do is scratch up those thrusters. There we go. And then we put them on like that. So anyway, now we're going to uh, put the these two parts here. Here, these two trim. These were a different color tone, but I decided to keep it blue. And then we're going to put this part over here. And then there's a cover here. At one point I thought that this one was, there were two parts of this, but then I had to review the manual and said, oh, okay, there's only one. So this one goes right there. And there you have it. The backpack shield, I mean the backpack of the Justa is now complete. So that's done. The next is the shield. So we have this part here. And then we have this yellow trim part that I spray painted uh, a couple of times. And we'll take this. This is this definitely needs to be buffed in some sort of fashion. So we put that there. That that came out nice. And then we put this here. And then we take this one and put this here. Oh my god, I'm really not digging these. I, I, I feel like I want to get something to wipe it off, but then I'm afraid I'm going to damage the paint. We'll have to, I'll, I'm going to discuss to you about this later on at the end of the build. I'm not going to bore you with my, my thing. All right, so next we have the, the uh, missiles, uh, which now I gotta figure this out. 
That one goes like that. So it goes... What? Like this? I know they're both different. And they have to be like this. Is it one like that? No, the long one goes to the top. Okay. So... This, this one could be a little bit confusing. Okay, so I think that one goes like that. And then this one... Supposedly goes like this. I'm surprised the manual making you is making you put it on before the covers, but I guess there's a reason why. And then looking at the covers, I think this one. Okay, we'll put the bottom one first. No, that doesn't go there. But this one goes here. Scratched it. And then this one goes right here. Or maybe not. So this one's not in the correct position. This should be like that. Okay, now I understand it. And then this one slides in like this. And then this one slides in like this. And there you go. Now it's connected. This has already been placed here. And then the last part. The really, really last part is the actual um, um, umbilical connections. So we have this part here, followed by this one that goes here. This one that goes. Whoops. Let's see the orientation of this. So this one goes here. Come on. Don't be a pain in the you know what. Then we close that up like that. And then we have this one in this position. Then you want to put this one here. Followed by this part that goes sticking up, like so, and then we close this one. So let's see now. Um, let's see what we're gonna do. Close this, this, then like this, and then, if I'm not mistaken, this goes like that. Then this goes like this. Somehow, how does that work? Um, oh, I see. Right here. And then this one is connected to the shield like that. There we go. So there you have it. I think that's how the, the shield connector works. Like this. Oh, okay. I guess you can do that way. I didn't realize that. Alright, so we gotta do this way like that. Okay. This is how the shield and backpack looks like. I don't know why this doesn't want to stick, but stick. Alright. That's kind of nice. I like it. Really nice. Alright. Let's move on to final assembly.